Hi guys, so it has been a while since I made a video and today I'm gonna make a colibrid video. Let's see how we can do this. My intention is to feed them some interesting prey items. Um, let's try this. All right. So that's a rat's leg. Um, I sometimes cut the uh, front legs of the rats that I give uh, to my other animals so that they swallow easier if the prey item is too big. And in this case, uh, I gave it to this little pied-sided blood red corn snake that I have. I, I keep the snake because I have a lot of people who visit my house and they want to touch my animals. And obviously my water cobras, even though they're super tame, are out of question because they're very venomous. And the black-headed python I have is also known to bite occasionally so i have this nice pied sided uh, red blood red corn snake that i um, use for that purpose and i also have the black mexican king and i wanted to film these guys today so that's a rat's leg taken care of let's see if i have something else for this little one. Ah. I didn't want you to swallow that piece of wood there. almost got it but it's not gonna happen I think oh well she can handle that oh well he can pass that through so let's give him something else um, that was I don't know how much you guys have seen with the GoPro but that was a mouse pink and He's gonna eat that next. Alright, I'll leave you guys be with the snake as I do some other things. Okay, so in addition to feeding snakes, I'm also disinfecting their water bowls.
but she seems to be doing a good job with this. That's a decent size uh, fuzzy mouse. That she's doing a good job with. Corn snakes are pretty common. For those of you who don't know the species, they come from North America and they hunt rodents. And they're uh, quite a common pet snake due to their docile nature and, you know, very low care requirements. All right, let's give him another one. One final fuzzy, if I can fish them out. All right. She's getting close to the GoPro. Well, he is, sorry. There you go. Here's another one. Whoa. He's a good boy. Let's do this. I'm not planning to edit this guy, so um, sorry for the downtime and everything. But life is really making things difficult for me with the amount of work that I have to deal with. Uh, the nine month old baby that I have right now that I love spending time with, but also he is super demanding. And then, um, you know, all the animals, the reptiles, the arachnids, the, uh, you know, the myriopods, everything I have. So it gets a little tricky sometimes. So please bear with me as we do a transfer from one cage to another. There we go. Here we are with our... Tayeri Kingsnake, the Mexican black, one of the Mexican black types, as we have a bunch of snakes with the melanistic coloration, I think. This is a king snake. Let's see if we can get him to Yeah. All right, I think he ended up getting a mouth uh, full of substrate as well. That's, we got a little piece, so that's good. Okay, good, a little constricting action. I'll clean his water bowl while you guys are watching, well, while you guys are watching her, having problem with pronouns today.
Right, he seems to be orienting himself okay, but he's a little slow in, t in the uh, intake today. It's probably because of the mouthful of wood that I made him, I made her, God, <laughs> bite before um, she decided to go for the mouse. All right, the corn snake is a guy, the king snake is a girl. I think that makes things clearer. Yeah, as I said, compared to other keepers, I'm a little lazy uh, when it comes to water dishes. I disinfect them once a month or so um, with a strong uh, alcohol compound that should kill pretty much everything in there. Uh, and I do water changes, you know, uh, twice a week, not daily. The only daily water change I do is with uh, my monitor lizard because he has a habit of there we go he has a habit of uh, defecating in the water bowl and he likes to swim and sleep in the large uh, water dish that I have there so that's why he gets special treatment these guys get clean water but they don't get it as often as the other guys But I think she's, I mean, I, I love snakes that are unicolor, white snakes and black snakes. This girl is getting to be very shiny. She's coming close to a shed now. She still has a little bit of a pattern. So she's not jet black, as they say, uh, but she's going to get there. There we go. Good girl. All right, guys. I guess this is enough. I will try to make uh, hopefully another video next week of the various arachnids that I have. And uh, I managed to get my uh, green tree pythons to breed. So hopefully if we have eggs or whatever, I will update you on those. And then I'm trying to get the water corpus to breed. So let's see what happens this season. Uh, but uh, thanks for hanging in there and thanks for watching and I wish you guys a great week. Bye